All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Moon, and as well rising a weekly love and relationship tarot reading, uh, January 6th to January 12th, uh, 2020. And uh, if you guys um, want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, you can check out the description down below of this video, and there you're going to find a link to my website. So that being said, uh, moving into the spread directly now the first card which stands for the topic of our love and relationship uh, week our because it, I am a Scorpio as well we do have the eight of swords and the energies that are feeding the um, the situation itself are going to be marked by the king of swords so followed by the next one it is the challenges that we need to stand against and hopefully overcome here we do have the hermit then it is the gifts and the blessings uh, that we can enjoy throughout the week that is going to be the knight of swords followed by the next one and this is how we are gonna uh, look into the eyes of others how people are gonna see us our friends and family our uh, partners uh, in relationship, suitors, and etc., etc. That is going to be the four of wands. Then the next one, it is uh, what uh, is going to help your our your and our uh, long term relationship uh, and love goal. That is going to be the Queen of Cups. Then it is what is going to hurt our long term love and relationship goal. That is going to be the uh, Eight of Pentacles. And the last one, which is the guidance that Taro is offering to us, that is going to be the Magician card. And we have a big one in front of us, guys. Um, now, it looks like that... Um, I don't know how really to approach the subject here, uh, because I'm afraid that I may be misunderstood by many people. So, th these two cards, which are the very first uh, couple of cards are pointing that to a certain extent, if not in the entirety of our situation, we are deceiving ourselves. And this week is going to be a week where we are going to have a huge wake up from our deceit uh, into what really is going on around us. Now, the situation itself, I kind of like uh, points to that um, we are not understanding very well what people were telling to us and we're not recognizing the portion of the truth into what people or our suitor or you know the concepts of our relationship in general are screaming to us a very big example of it is that we may start seeing that our partner is distant you know and that means that they don't want to be with us anymore, but we don't acknowledge that truth. Anyway, so these energies that we're having on our sides, which are feeding up the topic, it does point that um, we are going to start analyzing the things into our relationships, into our behavior, if you will, um, uh, into our situation as well, very carefully under a microscope. And throughout this analysis, we will have to acknowledge certain aspects of it. And we will have, well, everything comes to decision, but we will have, how can I say it, a, a choice to make here. And the choice is more important than we may realize at the start, because the choice is going like this. Are we going to recognize the truth because the truth makes us free or are we not going to recognize the truth and if the truth makes us free then what the denial of it makes us okay uh, and uh, that this whole process uh, is going to push us one step forward of uh, finding you know the true love of ours because um, I say that it is quite complex to explain it but because let's say that the love is fuel to our to ourselves in life. Let's say that our life is a machine and the love is fuel to this machine that ticks and kicks and etc. etc. So we are gonna be one step further of finding the source of that fuel. That doesn't necessarily mean that this is not our current suitor or our current partner. 
but the thing is that we if that's the case if it is our current suitor or current partner then these cards are pointing that we are to improve that situation in a great scale but it will require from us to recognize what we are doing wrong in there and not just only we but our partner as well and take a note of it and kind of like fix it because it's not a beyond repair so what i'm trying to say here and what comes from it at the bottom line it is that there are certain restrictions and these restrictions are self-imposed restrictions either from our behalf or either from the behalf of our partner or suitor or a, a person of interest and those restrictions need to be brought down um the other card for us scorpio is going to be the hermit which is the challenges that we need to stand against and once those restrictions are brought down okay and once we uh, kind of put an, an analysis over the situation it will be very difficult for us to make up our mind and that is uh, the challenge itself now you need to know that we are to be on the threshold of ending of a uh, relationship cycle era and from there we need to decide where to go to go from there in general you know or we should keep on doing or keep on proceeding forward with our current relationship or should we you know simply break it or should we keep on behaving that way or should we change something into our behavior now especially for those which are completely single like me for example these cards uh, are asking at least me the way i am seeing them it is that it's time for a major change into how I do my lifestyle if I want to be in a relationship, okay? Because simply what I am doing right now is not helping a tiny bit for it. And I need to un put an analysis over it and see what I am doing wrong. I mean, I know what I am doing wrong, but it's just, you know, I have to find the courage to overcome it. But uh, yeah, it's kind of like instead of, uh, as well as the challenges, the Hermit is all about intelligence. It's all about wisdom as well. So we have to attend to these um, predicaments with intelligence and wisdom. And uh, some Scorpio may find themselves rather more emotional than others. And then the intelligence and the wisdom is going to be a rough thing to be incorporated. So the next one, it is the gifts and the blessings that we are going to enjoy throughout the week. And that is a, a person, Knight of Swords here. That person comes as a gift and a blessing to us. And that person is a person of encouragement. Okay, That person is going to encourage us, Scorpio, to do what it takes or to kind of like make up our mind as best as we can. Because the Knight of Swords is a person with agile mind and severe intellectual agility as well. And uh, they are always a truth seekers. So despite that we may not like what we're going to find for what we are going to find through analysis that it is depriving our love life from a ultimate exhilaration and success, we have to acknowledge it. And that person as a gift and blessing is going to help us acknowledge it. And even on top of it, that person will help us to make our decisions in peace so at the end of the day we are going to be resigned about them instead of you know contradicting our emotional state or our uh, wishes as well being fully aware that we are to do mm, the right thing it's not even the right thing but the most accurate thing here throughout the week so it's a big one for us Scorpio it's a, a week where we have to simply acknowledge our own mistakes in terms of love and relationship so the next one it is how people were seeing us and that is uh, the four of wands and the best way how I can describe this is people were seeing us as oh my god finally he or she now sees it all right he or she now kind of like acknowledges it he or she now kind of sees what uh what they're lacking what they're missing or what they're doing wrong as well so people were seeing you complete people were seeing you in peace in oneself people were seeing you ready to jump into the next cycle of relationship and love uh, development so this card itself 
may point to second chances as well okay people are someone let's say your partner up until now it's kind of like you it was ready to let, let you go and to break with you now you realize why you're trying to um kind of like fix that in there okay so they now kind of like understand what i'm coming from so let's let's try it again let's give it give her or he uh last one last final chance so people were seeing you in a very positive uh in a very positive sight in a very positive um light was the word that i was searching for so the next card it is what is gonna help your long-term love and relationship goal now we do have another person now this one is more like a, a very very good friend of yours a motherhood figurine in your life now this person is someone that you can share literally everything with them it is because they are quite discreet in terms of what you're going through and in terms of you know the interaction between you two in either way that person knows the plight that you are going through and they are willing to offer you or to give you to give us scorpio the full emotional support we require so that is someone that um, you can lean your sh your uh, that is someone that it will offer you a shoulder for you to lean on while you are undergoing this ordeal of uh, acknowledging your own mistakes which is going to be tough for some of us for some of us let's face it because the majority of us it's our people that says it's not our fault i mean even i most of the time are like that but that is going to be a a week of revelations for us and uh yeah that is gonna help our long-term love and relationship go because we with the help of this queen of cups that is going to support us emotionally we are going to successfully undergo the ordeal of the week january 6 to january 12 2020 so what is gonna hurt our long-term love and relationship goal now we do have the eight of pentacles a very peculiar card into this position uh, Eight of Pentacles, uh, to me, in this narrative, speaks for a, a replacement. Because in love and relationship, Eight of Pentacles um, kind of tells us a couple of things. Now, one of the things, it is a trying to fix what is broken with the old ways, however. Okay, it's because the Eight of Pentacles points that you are ready. You have everything you need, but we don't. Because we have to change something in us that we are doing wrong so trying to fix what it is breaking with the old means that is what the eight of pentacles says that is going to hurt our long-term and relationship goal and the other thing it is the substitution it's like um especially for those which are single uh, it's like when someone rejects you to try to attract someone else with the same approach okay so if someone rejects us Obviously, it is because we are either lacking something or because either we are um, kind of doing something wrong and we have to analyze what we are doing wrong. And the final one, that is the guidance here. And this is uh, the Magician card. So as a guidance, the Magician asks us to be extra communicative throughout the week. If something, um, if how can I say it? When... When something isn't happening in between you and your suitor, when in between you and uh, your husband or a wife, or um, the, in generally in between you and your lover, ask about it. Ask why you know you are displeased with what I did. Okay, ask why uh, you don't want to do this, or why you are treating me that way, and etc. etc. So you can identify more easily, you know, the problem that you are creating, that we are creating and fix it as fast as we can because with the magician card we can definitely fix it i mean we are gonna find within ourselves the determination to uh to do so and so while a bit negative that is uh the reading for us scorpio for the week january 6 to january 12 2020 um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, if you do want a, a personal reading with me, you can check out the uh, description down below of this um, of this video and there you're going to find a link to my website. Hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then, bye.